Hi there. Today we are in Pudong, Shanghai, testing out a robot taxi. Is it reliable? Is it safe? And just how comfortable is it? Buckle up. We're about to find out. The car arrived as soon as I tapped confirm on Pony AI robot taxi app. Confirm. For a rocky like me, here's a tip. Don't forget to unlock the car before getting in. Hello. Okay. So it's unlocked. Let's go. Start ride. Confirm. We are about to start. Safety always comes first. Once inside, I learned what I could do in the car and what I shouldn't touch or move. You can switch off or switch on the AC here, and also you may charge your phones or iPads here. It's very convenient. The ride is so smooth, it feels like there is a professional behind the wheel. The ride with sensors and cameras working in perfect sync, navigating busy city streets. Pony AI and another major Chinese self-driving player, Apollo Go, equip their cars with LiDAR, multiple cameras, and other sensors, combined with high-definition maps for navigation. Waymo in the U.S. takes a similar approach, while Tesla relies solely on cameras. The screen display shows the remaining time on the trip and live traffic updates. And if you're bored, just put on the music. Here we go, I've just arrived. The 5.9 km ride costs 25 yuan, about the same as a regular taxi. Cities like Shanghai and other tier 1 cities are positioning themselves at the forefront turning autopilot programs into everyday services. Right now, the busiest times are rush hours and meal times. We'll be expanding to places like Pudong International Airport, Zhangjiang, and Disneyland, and running for longer hours too. China's autonomous driving sector is projected to become a trillion yuan industry within the next decade. China and the U.S. lead in autonomous mobility, but China has an edge with rapid AI growth and strong national policy support. A 2025 Goldman Sachs research report projects China's robotaxi market to grow from 54 million U.S. dollars in 2025 to 47 billion U.S. dollars in 2035, with total robotaxi fleet size to grow from 4.1 thousand by this year to 1.9 million by 2035. The data models robotaxi's 25% ride-hailing market share by 2035 to fill the labor gap of taxi drivers in this country. From a smooth ride through Pudong to the promise of a booming industry, robotaxi are steering China toward a future where smart mobility is part of its continuing AI story.